So today the new Valentine's Day gift for 2020 just got released. So in today's video, I will be showing you guys all the new items that were released with it. And I'll be going over the new props that came from the Christmas 2019 boxes that is a part of patch 2.7.2. So first I will be showing you guys the gift and then afterwards I'll be showing you guys the props and then towards the end of the video I will be also including some extra details from either past versions or what's currently being added. So nevertheless, let's get on to the unboxing. Alright, so now that you've guys seen all the Valentine's Day items that have been released, we're going to be taking a look now at the brand new props that came out with the new update. Now the only way to have been able to obtain these props is if you had purchased any of the gifts ranging from small, medium, large, and super during Christmas of 2019. And with this, we were promised props releasing with the super mystery gift and unfortunately that did not happen and when that didn't happen a lot of people were speculating that it would just never show up so right now we're taking a look at the reinforced wall and the brick wall both of these coming with the small gift now if you see here on the actual change log themselves it says brick wall one and large scrap wall one or large scrap wall reinforced one this makes me think that we're going to be getting another expansion pass, possibly, or something along those lines. Next, we're going to be taking a look at the Meat Armory Weapons Display Case. Now, this is kind of more or less a military-styled um, crate, just for storage. The only significant thing that it has on it is the word ammunition and a barcode. Otherwise, it's kind of a little bit of a hit or miss in terms of RP, you can see the factions handling it a lot better. Next we're going to be taking a look at the tent. This is the military tent one. Again, there is the number one on the change log, which suggests that we might be getting another type of military tent in the future. It's very spacious. It's very modern or like brand new in terms of uh, items in after the flash it's not a like patchwork item or whatever it says or it's just a prop so you can see it's kind of more or less to aimed towards factions such as the uscpf and the slf it's very spacious again and there's also the possibility that we might be getting something else 
very similar in the future for the rest. And finally, we're going to be taking a look at the Super Gift Root Cellar, otherwise known as Bunker 2.0. So one thing you'll see is that this is Root Cellar. These doors are supposed to open, as you can see on my cursor, they're red, and I'm clicking down, and unfortunately they are not opening. So the only current way to actually be able to get in here is through a certain angle. You could either go through the angle or put a chair underneath the door, but if you go to this angle exactly on the left side facing on the upper edge you can see how there's a little bit of a depression where i'm standing if you go to where that pole is relatively you'll be able to get the gui so while you're in here we have a brand new tv we have a brand new prop added which might be added later in another prop expansion a beautiful hole in the wall and some shelves for the root cellar vibe it's very spacious and all that nice stuff. There's also a circuit box and this wonderful toolbox that just decides to break. Of course, this one doesn't open and the other one just decides to uh, go do its own thing. And also we have the light switch here. So in all in all, I would say that these props were definitely worth the wait. I would say that of course the medium one was a little bit lackluster but hopefully in the future we'll be getting some additional props and new walls and all that good stuff. One thing I'd like to include also is mentioning of the vehicle spawning bug. Now this wasn't exactly added in the latest update. This was added uh, two updates ago. And this was the bug that uh, was very long standing towards the summer rain event and possibly even December of 2018 when the first vehicles were released. And basically this bug was when you hop into a vehicle, the vehicle would start up and all that, except you would not be able to move. Now this is not the walking while sitting bug. That is still kind of being researched into and trying to find an issue with that. But the bug in which you'd be able to hop into a car and all that, that is all fixed, at least in the latest update. One thing that was also broken for a short time was the highway interceptor being removed kind of uh, unexpectedly during a recent update, which was 2.7.1. This was added in the map updates for the Verdan and Goldfield battle damage from the mutants. So as of this past update, the vehicle was reintroduced and also it was a bit refurbished. There's parts of the glass on the side mirrors that were removed the hood broke a little bit and otherwise than that everything else should be fixed with the vehicles lastly i'd like to also show off the aa12 now this was added actually during the christmas update towards when the first couple of gifts were being released uh, I have not seen any videos of anyone showing off the AA-12, so I'd like to just kind of add this in. I wanted to add this in during the Christmas video, but I saw it was already at 20 minutes, so I was like, you know what, I'll just add it in the next big patch video, which is this. And this is one of the top stream donor items that you get for about $25. It's on the tier with the ALPS. And yeah, this is just full auto shotgun, amazing animations. An amazing model itself too all right guys so that was the Valentine's Day unboxing as well as showing off the brand new props and the AA 12 right at the end so I hope you guys enjoyed the video make sure you guys subscribe for more flash storm content in the future and until next time take it easy <laughs>